So I want there to be no confusion in this video. I'm gonna tell you the absolute best app to drive on to make the most money on your favorite side hustle after I do research all weekend long and I'm bringing you along with me. Is it going to be Grubhub? Is it going to be DoorDash? Or is it gonna be Uber Eats? So it is day two of three days that I'm taking you along with me. We're gonna figure out which app can you make the most money on. We're just gonna cut right down to it. So I'm not sure if maybe you can relate to this. If you're a new driver watching, this is something to consider, a really big thing to consider. Or if you're a veteran driver, put in the comments below if you've seen this. I have seen a lot, and I mean a lot, of very small orders. So this is all across the board from Uber Eats, Grubhub, and DoorDash. I'm driving all three, that is called multi-apping. Now you do this when you're looking for orders. You can open all apps at the same time. But I've seen a lot of $3 orders, $4 orders. I'm not really sure why this is, but I've seen more and more of this. So. It does get better because because of those busy times. During those busy times, I've seen the orders increase, but I'm having to decline a lot of those smaller orders. So here's an update on where we stand. So far for day one, the winner thus far, and at the end of the video, we're gonna decide the actual winner. But for day one, just based on the demand, DoorDash has absolutely been crushing it. Number two, Grubhub with Uber Eats at number three. But there's still two days left, so let's keep driving and we'll add up the tallies at the end of the video and declare our winner. So the very best app to make the most money also should save you time, right? Well, I actually had a problem with DoorDash and even though it cost me money, it wasn't DoorDash's fault. The restaurant was closed. So I've seen where if you're unable to pick up the order for reasons outside of your control, I've seen it where other apps don't pay you anything. But I contacted DoorDash support and they offered me half pay on both orders because of course it was a stacked order and the restaurant was closed. So best app to make the most money well so far doordash is crushing it now with their customer service welcome to day three of all weekend long i'm going to tell you which app is the best to drive to make the most money and today started with a really solid order and then i got hit with the curveball so we just went over previously in this video what happens when you get a doordash order and the restaurant is closed well, on the day that I am making this video, it is Memorial Day 2021 and a restaurant is closed, this time on Grubhub. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what to do. Let me just say, it's a lot easier on Grubhub. Now, I had to go and contact support on DoorDash, but the only thing is, they gave me half pay. How much did I get from Grubhub? $1.32, which comes to around $5.50 per hour. So they pay you for your time. It's not very much, but unfortunately that was the case. You take a picture, it's real easy, but let's move on to the next one and hopefully more restaurants aren't closed on this holiday. Here is a very solid order from Condado. You can see the mileage is low, so I went ahead and accepted this DoorDash order. So here I get a good order from Wendy's on Grubhub, but I know from my experience, Wendy's usually has a long wait, so I declined this order. But then I get a good DoorDash order from Roots. Again, pretty straightforward. It's close by, fairly good pay, so I accepted this DoorDash order. Now, usually I don't take orders this low, but for $6 and it was going to take me 11 minutes on Uber Eats, I had to accept this order just based on the distance alone. All right, so I'm back here at the home office and I want to add some commentary and some really big things that I took away from driving. So take a look at Grubhub. So we're deciding which app you can make the most money on. And here in Pittsburgh, I saw a really unique thing about Grubhub that stood out. You can see all of these requests are double digit requests. Now, I don't know if you're a new driver, if you're thinking about driving, which app makes me the most money? Well, here in Pittsburgh, what I've seen is Grubhub really brings in the high dollar requests. So if you're a new driver and you're considering DoorDash or Grubhub, or if you're a seasoned driver, 
put in the comments, what do you think about Grubhub versus DoorDash? But we're going to bring Uber Eats back in here at the end and declare our winner. But I've seen Grubhub really bringing in those high orders, but DoorDash has given a lot of consistency. Well, at least in this particular weekend, if I had you absolutely drive one app, the winner is DoorDash, and that is because of consistency. Now, I love just as much as you do making $15 on an order. I've actually made $30 driving one Grubhub order. So the big money is there, I would say, with Grubhub. But for me here in Pittsburgh, DoorDash is bringing the consistency and I can really rely on that. So if I'm relying on making X amount of dollars on a weekend, I would go with DoorDash. But here's the thing absolutely don't want to make this mistake just because on one weekend doordash crushes it it could be completely dead on the next weekend and do not put all your eggs in one basket don't just gamble and say well matt i'm signing up which one should i do okay doordash i'm gonna i'm gonna do doordash you want to sign up for as many as you can. So sign up for Uber Eats if it's available. Sign up for Grubhub because you want to drive all three at the same time when you're looking for orders. That's called multi-apping because then you can get that $15 order from Grubhub. And then if it's slow, maybe in your area, Uber Eats crushes it and you can fill your time with consistency. Here in Pittsburgh, like I said, that's DoorDash. So long story short, it really does depend on the market place but that is all the more encouragement that you need to get out there and start driving again this is matt on my channel your driver team matt i hope you liked this video if you did consider dropping a like and consider subscribing so you see weekly videos that are meant to help you maximize your time on the road